What's up everybody? I'm Tiffany of Tiffany Outdoors. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a DIY live well. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Want to use the turn when possible? No, we're not. All right, y'all, here are my list of supplies and things that I have for this build. I've got two of these baby bubbles, got two of those. I also went ahead and bought a large bubble box just in case these two could not power the the um, the air stone that I got. I got a really long air stone. That one is soaking right now. Um, Let's see, I got a, a five inch net to use as our dip net. I've got some E6000. There's a repair on the cooler that we're going to be using for this live well that I need to make. So I bought some of this to try and fix that. I also got some little hooks. Got these little, little tiny cup hooks. There's the size there. That's the size out of that. And I got some, some, some sheet metal screws there. There's the size for that. Number eight. They're three quarter inches long. Got some of those. And I also got some of these number six wood screws. And those are a half inch long. I'm not going to be using any wood. I just got those for the length. Also got some of these um, command strip. The uh, refill on the Velcro. Got some of that. I got some of these sawtooth hangers. Got some of those. And these are the large. Which is almost two inches long. <coughs> And I got some of the silicone clear. All right, y'all. And I have this cooler. Now I bought this cooler at a yard sale. I, I think I paid maybe ten bucks for it at a yard sale. But let me show you what we got going on here. So. right here see that is broken that snapped off so that's what i'm gonna use that e e6000 for i'm gonna repair that i also got a little rag here that i'm gonna clear it out wipe it out it's got some dirtiness in there uh i'm gonna clean this out really good and what else have we got going on with this okay so the reason why I chose this one in particular is because it has wheels on it so that it's easy to roll around. So that's going to really help with the maneuverability. All right, y'all. Let's get this project started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is clean this out. And I'm just going to be using just plain water, no soap or any kind of cleaners on this. Because I do want to be able to put fish in here and not have any kind of soap or residue on this. So I have one of those Mr. Clean scrubby things. So I'm going to scrub the inside and out. That was easy to clean out. I'm going to let that dry. And then... We're going to go and get some tools for the assembly of our little doodads that we're going to do on there. Okay, so I've got this mostly dried off. i got a piece of paper towel over this crack that I'm letting this air out some. I've got, the, got it like trying to dry on both sides just to make sure that it's as dry as I can get it before we apply the, the glue on there. Now, for the rest of the core... 
I just need to decide where I want to put things like the bubble boxes and figure out where I want to put those so that they're not in the way okay so I'm right-handed and most likely I feel like I'm going to be opening this up from the opposite side so I want to put my bubble boxes on this side to prevent any dripping of water into those little boxes because some of them like the little cheap ones that I have they're not sealed or waterproof so if I drip water on there I could ruin it so I think I'm gonna put the bubble boxes on this side so now that I know that I'm going to place the sawtooth the sawtooth picture hangers on this side mounted one of the picture frame hangers. I mounted it upside down so that the saw teeth are on the bottom. And these have a convenient little hangy clippy thingy. That'll go on just like that. And the recommendations for this one are to put this back inside this box here. Put it in. Let's see, the clip's going to come out this little hole here. Like that. That helps protect it. It's got a small hole on top here for your air tubing. That'll help pr protect it, keep it from getting wet. All right, let's see where I want to put this for the tubing to go through. I think if I put it right about, so I don't like how that slides, but I think I put it right here. That'd be good enough. And I'm using a 5 16th drill bit. Wow. Boy, that just sucked right in there. Push that right on through. Oh, yeah. Yes, that'll work. Okay. Okay, so next thing I want to do is figure out where I want to place the dip net. If I'm, if I'm going to be on the other side, I want the net to be on the same side I will be on, so... Let's switch to that side. I think I want to be able to hang it like this, y'all. A little bit more streamlined, kind of out of the way. About right there for that one. There we go. That looks good right there. I'm happy with that. Boom, boom. And just hang it back up there like that liking it all right so now I want to repair the handle right quick all right so e6000 it says to rough up the edges with some sandpaper but uh, yeah I'll do that all right e6000 this is my first time using this adhesive so I hope this stuff works. That is squeezed together. And I'm going to use this uh, quick grip just to hold it, hold it in place. There we go. So, I'll just let that hang out, do its thing, and dry. And in the meantime, I am going to go get the bubble stone so we can put that on the inside. Okay, I got my bubble stone in there and I have the command hook sticky thingies and I thought they were the Velcro ones but they're not. So I don't want to permanently affix this in here without a way of getting to the other side because those command hook things, they they stick very, very well. So. I just have this free floating in here or just in here freely without 
without um, anything holding it down. So what I want to do is go get some batteries, put them in the bubble box, turn this thing on and see how well it works. I'm going to pour some water in here to go ahead and and try test try this bubble stone. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bailey saw the bucket and now she thinks it's her dinner. So <laughs> there's that. Look at that. Blurg. So, what I may have to do is make okay, weigh it down with the screwdriver. See if that helps. Okay, there we go. I wedge the screwdriver here. So I am going to have to mount this down here permanently or it's just going to flip upside down. Don't want that. I have two batteries in here. Pretty. Very cool. I was kind of concerned that this, the baby bubbles would not be able to power this, so that's why I bought the bigger box. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, this is cool. So, what I want to do also is think of a, a better solution for this to keep this from sliding around. Although, once it's in there, I think it's fine. Tons and tons of aerated bubbles. I'm happy with that. I just have to... I'm gonna, I am gonna go get some Velcro and Velcro that down. Yeah, I gotta go get some Velcro, Velcro that down. I want that to be a lot more secure in there like that without it um, flipping upside down. I don't want it to do that while it's in the thing or else it's, I don't know, I feel like the bubbles aren't gonna be as effective at aerating the water. But very cool. So, and I've tried this bubble box. It does run on one or two batteries. I have two in there, but it did run on one. So, let me take one battery out and see how the bubbles are then. Let me do that. I can't say there's a major difference. Same amount of bubbles to me. What do you guys think? The same amount. That's just one battery in there, so. Oh, all right. I am going to call this build a success. Now, <laughs> the real test will come when I get some minnows in here, get some little feeder fish, some live bait, so I can catch something. I have to catch a fish this year. I have to. I have to. It's my goal. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram for videos and pictures you will not see here on YouTube. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.